She must have had it cremated. But when? Where? Why don't you ask Alex? I'm calling the cops. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And what exactly are you gonna say? That she stole my brother's body, for starters. And how are you gonna explain that you know this? I'll tell him we were suspicious. Suspicious of what? Exhumed the body and we found the coffin empty? What we did here was illegal. All right, you're right. Of course I'm right. Time for plan B, Edmund. I need you to testify against Alex. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that you, of all people, need my help. Look, Alex has to be stopped, and I can't do it alone, OK? Now, if you testify that you know that she has a known toxin in her medical bag, a poison at least to listen to what we have to say. There is nothing wrong with a doctor carrying toxin in their bag. No, but maybe we can get a court order to exhume his body. Which we already did. What do you want me to do? Just put this thing back in the crypt and forget that anything happened? Of course not. Well, then help me. Sorry. This is where I get off. Why? You rant about a murder. A missing body, some, some poison in a vial, some ifs and maybes. You want to know what the police are going to see? Two men that stole some property and robbed a grave. I'm sorry. I'm not going to jail as some bit player in your drama. I need your help. And I gave it. As far as I'm concerned, when I leave this mausoleum, I was never here. Fine, you get out of here. But I'm going to figure out what happened to my brother's body without you. Great. Good luck. Just keep my name out of it. When I broke my promise to the man I love, my whole life just fell apart. I lost. I lost the man I really loved, and I lost the chance to have life with him. I think in this case, going back on my word is actually going to help some people. Alex, if you really love that person, don't do it, please. I regret every day for breaking the promise to the man I love. No, it's not that simple, Julian. And once, once you break that bond, you can never repair it. I wish I knew what to do. If only it didn't involve so many people. Hold on. Hello? Oh, my God. How did this happen, Dimitri? You didn't deserve this. Especially from somebody who swore that she loved you. And I swear to you that I'm going to get the truth. And Alex, she's going to pay. Somebody called and uh, she left. What's wrong? Uh, Jillian, why don't you go back to the house? Why are you so angry? What happened? I uh, will discuss it later. Is it something Alex did? Jillian, please. Come on, Edmund. It can't be that bad. It's late, Jillian. Good night. Good night. Let me sleep. Edmund, be nice to Alex, please. She loved Dimitri very much. Where 
corpse, Dimitri's body. It's in the mausoleum. Where is he? We buried him, you know that. No more lies, Alex. What's happened? I know what you've done. What is this about? The casket is empty. Oh, no. Of course it isn't. Yes, it is. I opened it. You what? Now I want answers. Now. Oh, no. What have you done? Oh, this is not going to be simple. No, it's pretty simple. Ever since that casket is empty, everything makes sense to me. No, you don't understand. Your lies, your secrecy, the sealed casket, no autopsy. I told you why I made those. I found the poison in your medical bag. You went through my bag. Poison, my brother. And then you stole his body. That's ridiculous. And then you cremated it so nobody would know. Nobody would know what? That you killed my brother. And why did you do it? Money? What kind of a monster are you? You are so wrong. Alex, I don't want any more lies! You killed my brother. He loved you, and you murdered him! I didn't murder your brother. He's not dead. <laughs> Dimitri's alive. 